guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and today I'm here with a reading vlog and it's Thursday. I was gonna do summer ween, I had my TPR and everything and I underestimated how busy school would be the first full week back and we're all virtual but I have to go into the building every day and teach from my classroom virtually and we do it through Zoom on a bell schedule and so um, it's a lot. I have to pretty much redo everything I normally teach and format it to online teaching so i have to transfer everything over into google and google slides and google docs make assignments in google classroom and make interactive google slides with pear deck which is just like allows them to like comment and answer questions it's really cool i really like using it so far what i've used so far and it's just so much more work than if i were in the classroom and we do get the last two hours as like study sessions i guess if for kids to like come in and get help if they need it or zoom if they need it and it's the beginning of the year so no kids are really using that time with me and so i do get a lot of that time to plan but i have three different preps i teach enriched yearbook and guided reading so there's a lot of planning to do especially i co-teach two of my preps but like three periods i have at my enriched kids so that's all by myself i have a yearbook with a co-teacher and then guided reading for two periods the co-teacher so like some days i end up just like teaching all every all day and those are a lot of, of stuff i have to do this week was busy to say the least so i have only read 60 pages of this book and i started it on monday so it's like nine o'clock and I pass out of my bed because I have to get up every morning and go to work and I come home and I'm tired. And I was on a panel today with Harley Quinn. So they did a panel for their author. So I guess over a hundred authors were watching this panel where there were three of us, like Brie Hill was there from Falling for Books, I think is what her Instagram handle is. She's Brie Hill on booktube. Um, she was there and then Lisa London was there and we chatted about how to work with influencers who are on bookstagram booktube and it was fun but like i got home and had to do that and then i ate dinner and this is the first time i'm sitting down and it's already six o'clock so i also have to do my master's work so it's just so much especially because i have to adjust to doing my master's while being back at work because i was used to setting aside an hour every morning an hour and a half every morning and knocking it all out in five days um for the week's work sometimes going into saturday if i need it but like i don't have an hour and a half every day to work on it because <sighs> i would drive myself nuts if i got home and continued to work for like two hours so a lot of my friday and saturday and sunday morning is spent working on my masters but i have assignments due throughout the week so it's just a lot to juggle being back at work so if this is okay so far like literally nothing horror has happened it's just like how she became friends with her friend and that's it so i feel like we're about to get to something good and i know that gabby has already read it because i just watched her vlog that she posted today and she i don't know if she liked it or not i completely forget if she liked it or not she did say something like really 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 gross happened like in the troop so We'll see, but she did say like it was a slow start and it started out like a contemporary, historical contemporary, like an 80s just fictional book. So we'll see. I, it does have a lot of 80s vibes though. Like they went to like the roller skating rink and E.T. they're talking about. Okay, I'm gonna go. I have to upload a video. I have to work on my masters and then I can read. Hi, ignore the laundry. It's laundry day, cause it's Saturday. Hello, what? I know. Hey guys, so it's Saturday and I didn't vlog yesterday. I was just exhausted from a full day of a full week of work. But I li literally, anytime I put up my camera, she's mad I'm not paying attention and gets her ball. But, hello, okay. I had to stop reading um, My Best Friend's Exorcism first because I just wasn't getting into it and was reading like five pages a day. Also, this is our book club pick for Ravished by Romance and the live show's tonight at nine. So it's about 2.30 and I'm halfway through. I've read half of it this morning because I really hadn't started yet. I planned on reading at least 50 pages last night and fell asleep after 10. So I uh, needed to read this. So I've read half, like I said, and I'm planning on reading the other half today and it's really good so far she is a spy so she's from the north she's black and she's free and then she agrees to pose as a slave in a house in the south and she as a spy to help the union and 
it's really sad. Her love interest though is Scottish, so he was forced to flee Scotland by the British and he's living in the United States and he is also a union spy and he is like trying to get close to the family she works for to l learn things and they're growing closer and I really love them together and it's really sad though because she has to hold her tongue because she actually is pretending to be mute but she needs to not say anything when they say super degrading things she has a photographic memory and she's very intelligent and they keep on talking about how ugly and dumb she is and it's making her upset because she can't say anything and she has to keep acting like this slave and she doesn't know if she can trust Malcolm our love interest because he's white and he acts really well around them and so she sees him acting like someone who is part of the confederacy and hates blacks and loves slavery and it's really hard for her to see that so I'm really loving this I'm also listening to a Tessa Dare book which I am enjoying it's it's nothing special I'm like halfway through and it's cute um Spindle Cove is a series and so Spindle Cove is a place where all the spinsters go to like kind of like get better I guess or like become more comfortable with themselves and gain confidence and our main character I'm blanking on her name Suzanne I think she lives there and pretty much like runs society there and it's all like women dominated and so this guy comes who is a general I think he hurt his leg in the war and so he's really frustrated with the fact that he can't be as physically confident competent as he wants to be and he is like instantly drawn to her and he hates how women controlled this place is and so he's starting like a regiment so like just like soldiers to protect it so he like asks the men there and there's really not many men living there so they're either too really young or really old and it's really funny and cute and I like it so far I don't think it's definitely not gonna be a five-star read probably like four maybe three depending on how the rest of it goes it's just like fun to pass the time but like nothing really amazing is happening like it's not as good as her castles ever after series that's for sure which is what i've heard though so it's cute i'm enjoying the romance and <laughs> some funny parts like he like dives in the water to try to save someone and it was like no she was swimming like she's fine so it's funny i like it all right i'm gonna swing by barnes and noble to get christina forrest's new book because i'm dying to get my hands on it because i loved i want to be where you are and this one sounds so good it has to do with a celebrity and they're running around new york together so i watched her live show on friday with leah johnson and ashley something i don't remember what her name is because i haven't read her books but um, Leah Johnson was fabulous. I loved seeing her and she's writing her second book which comes out in July of next year which is very exciting. I forget what she said it's about. I know it's sapphic again and it takes place over a weekend um, but I don't remember anything else about the plot. I think she had told us but I still need to read. You should see me in a crown. It's on my TBR for this month but yeah. Okay I've been talking a lot. I gotta read and then so some book sleeves because I also sell those in my Etsy shop so I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is um, 7.30 now and I've uh, done a lot. I finished a book and I also went to the Apple store and Barnes & Noble. So Barnes & Noble, I got two things. First, what I really wanted to get was Now That I Found You by Christina Forrest. I'm so excited to have this. I do get an educator discount, so I got 20% off of my purchase. But this one, she's a celebrity and I think something in the press is like bad about her and then she tries to find, I think her grandmother who's also a celebrity and this boy goes along with her and they run around New York together. Then I also picked up Dating Makes Perfect by Pintip Dunn. This has really really good reviews and I've read Pintip Dunn's like sci-fi years ago and I really enjoyed it. So um she has sisters and she says I know like she has to like date fake date people so I don't know and it's like based on rom-coms. I picked it up because of the cover and then I looked online and it has really good reviews so I picked it up and I'm excited and it's only $10. It was 20% off so it was $8. But I picked those two up and um, I'm very excited. And I finished An Extraordinary Union and I think I'm gonna give it five stars. I really, really enjoyed this. I liked, there wasn't like a breakup because the conflict I could see coming was her not trusting him because he had to pretend to like be courting this like really awful girl whose dad was like a senator or something and she would get jealous when she'd see them together because she worked for her as a slave and he was supposed to be like dating her basically and she did talk about how she was jealous and I was like please don't like 
believe all of that and like not trust him anymore because even though you know he's pretending and she didn't do that so i was really happy that we didn't just like completely demolish all the growth that happened in the book because a lot of books do that where they grow to trust each other and then one of them's like i knew i could never trust you and like it completely ruins everything that was built up that didn't happen and so i really love the romance it was so cute and she was still like but you're white and i'm black and it's not legal no one's going to accept us together and um Malcolm didn't care and I just loved his character so much and there was a lot of action going on in here especially at the end I didn't know what was going to happen and I liked the whole civil war backdrop like the setting I think this is the first civil war romance I've read and I really liked it so I loved Ellen she's so smart and like I said it was hard for her to just keep her mouth shut about people saying horrible things about her because she was playing a role and was the spy so I really liked it and I can't wait for the next book I should have ordered it I almost bought it yesterday but I hadn't even started this yet so I didn't order it but I really want it but this was really good. I really like the romance too. And I know Desiree had said from Genki Reader, she's joining us on our live show tonight. She had said she wasn't feeling the romance in the beginning of this when I watched her reading vlog. So hopefully she ended up liking it because I really did. I've listened to a little bit more of my audiobook, but not enough to like update you guys. And I'm probably going to start Alyssa Cole next. Again, <laughs> I just read an Alyssa Cole. But I know I just read an Alyssa Cole, but I think I'm going to start when no one's watching because this comes out on Tuesday and I need to read it. So I'm excited for this. It's a thriller. Alyssa Cole is a, be, quickly becoming a favorite author of mine. So I'm going to read this next and I have to go sew some sleeves. So I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, I'm here to update you real quick. I, I know I'm normally not like here during vlogs, but I just filmed a video, which is really fun. I did, if you like this contemporary, you should check out this historical romance. So I'll link that down below if you're interested. It should already be up on my channel. But I haven't really done too much reading lately, but I did go on a run today and walked my dogs. And I finished the audiobook for that Tessa Dare book, her Night to Surrender, I think, is what it's called. So it's the first book in the Spindle Cove series. And I talked about it. I had the live show last night with Lacey and Desiree. And we talked about An Extraordinary Union. And it was a lot of fun. We talked about Tessa Dare and how this isn't her best series. I think her Castles Ever After series is my favorite that I've read by her. This was still pretty cute, though. I do think I lost some interest at the end. I'm probably going to give it three and a half stars because... The romance was fun and I really liked the main character and how she was so protective over all the women in the town and just wanted to help them, but the romance was fine. I mean, it was good, but it was nothing special. Like, I swoon over the Castles Ever After series and the Girl Makes Duke series. Those are so good and this one was just okay. I'll probably still continue on to see how the other books are, but... Three and a half stars for that one, and then I did start the tourist attraction. I don't remember the author. I have a physical copy over there, but this one's in Alaska, and I'm craving Christmas romances right now, and so this isn't Christmas, though. I think it's over the 4th of July, but they're in Alaska, and the main character guy owns this, like, weird diner, kind of. He's the only employee, which, like, I don't know how, and he's, like, does whatever he wants, but it's become, like, a, a tourist spot that, like, everybody loves it, and he just like does everything on his time so if he wants to close early he does if he doesn't want to open he doesn't and he will like give the you whatever and like it's very interesting and I feel like I would hate a place like that but it works and there is a Taurus there and she gets drunk slash drugged the first night so like she drinks this drink that's like his specialty that's like super alcoholic and then she gets like aspirin from her friend and like hours later she's still like so drunk she can't like walk straight and blacks out basically like she doesn't remember what happens during that time and I'm like what did your friend give you and like no one is that concerned that like her friend drugged her like she was not given aspirin so um that was I mean an interesting beginning but I know they're gonna spend more time together and the guy is very much your like grumpy gruff hero who's just like negative and like wants nothing to do with people so it's fun so far but I am definitely gonna be reading Alyssa Cole today which I'm excited for and yeah that's all I have to update you on so I'll talk to you guys maybe tonight or tomorrow when I wrap this up hey guys so I just got home from work and the pups are whining at me taking the day off from working out because I have to mow the lawn today so I'm gonna do that 
in a little bit but did want to say i am a little into the Alyssa cole book when no one's watching i think and it's a little slow i'm about 50 pages in and i fell asleep after reading like five pages because not a lot was happening i don't know how i feel about the two main characters we're alternating perspectives and the guy's um girlfriend fiance is a very bad person and so it's interesting her interactions with the characters and him I don't know where this book is going. I don't know what's gonna be thrilling about it. I don't know, but I did get some mail I want to share with you. So my friend Carrie from Instagram, she actually started a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna link it down below because she bought like a thousand book historical romance lot from someone for like $50. So she had just like boxes and boxes and boxes of historicals. So she sent me a package. One, I knew she was gonna send me the Jennifer Ashley book. She added like six more books to it. So I'm very excited. So I'm gonna show you that. And then I also got two Heather Graham books from eBay. So. Not too much else up to you guys on reading wise. I'm listening to the audio of the tourist attraction and it's just fine. Like just reading along. It's probably a three star read, but we'll see if anything interesting happens. Is that Miss Lily? Is that Miss Lily? Okay. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Lily, go outside. Oh my god. Okay. We have the Grams from eBay. One of them, I think this one is the first book to the series. I bought books two and three while I was at Half Price Books. So she ended up sending along four. Sorry, I didn't remember how many I took out, but we have Courting Claudia. Very pretty cover. I love this one. A Study in Scandal. They're all by Robin DeHart. Deliciously Wicked and Tempted at Every Turn. I really like that cover too. Oh, that's so pretty. And then she gave me a different Ashley, which I knew. And I didn't know though that it was like self-published. So it's like the big and it's matte. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it says her. I didn't know she self-published her books. So I'm excited to have this. So thank you, Carrie, so, so much. I'm very excited. Hey guys, so annoyingly on my part, I've already filmed me unboxing my Lumicrate and I deleted the footage. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like going through my memory card and I was like, oh, like I've already uploaded everything on here. I can just like clear it out and I did. And then I realized I never <laughs> uh, uploaded my unboxing. So I'm just gonna show you super quick run through what's in here because I've already done this once and I have to go mow my lawn. So I'm gonna show this to you real quick. First is a keychain and I'll just put a photo here. I don't have it with me, it's already on my car keys. It's from the Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning. Probably my favorite item in this entire box. It's amazing and I love it. And it's from, like I said, the Fever series. I've only read the first book, but it's it was really good. And so I'll put that on my keys. Then we have this pin, which is for the uh, book we have very pretty then we have some sunglasses and these are star wars sunglasses so it says rebel scum and then it has like the star wars like ships on the other side and the theme i forgot is we are the resistance so it's got a bookmark in here and it has a really pretty notebook which i think is from the bone season by samantha shannon it's so pretty i really like it and it's blank on the inside which is really nice because i like to make like lists and stuff so very pretty i'm excited to have gotten a notebook because i don't think we've gotten a notebook in a box yet that i've gotten we have car character cards from the ember in the ashes series so we have all of the characters and it says their name beneath it and i think they're really pretty i really like them so they'd be fun to like display and they all have that on the back which is kind of like the uh cover of the book but that'd be fun to display with the books on the bookshelf the coolest thing in this box is definitely this book ceramic thing let me show you so it has an opening at the top and so like you can put stuff in it and this was in my sewing area in my loft but it's super super pretty i really like it it's like actual ceramic the last thing is the book which is seven devils which i've never heard of i think it's sci-fi all about being rebels it says if you want to resist you have to rebel it's by elizabeth may and lauren lamb i really like this cover and the pages are so pretty i really love that and it comes with a signed book plate and not a lot said on the back but it's gorgeous and i'm very excited i assume it's it's sci-fi they're like on a, on a ship so 
It's very long though. I really enjoyed this box. If you want to sign up, I know that they have a wait list like a gazillion miles long, but use Peace 5 to save 5% on three to six month subscription. And I'll also link down below my Victoria Schwab unboxing because it was amazing. I really want to order one of their like special edition boxes now because it's amazing. Well, that's my unboxing. So thank you so much to Illumicrate for sending this to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. And um, I gotta go and mow my lawn and then pack some orders for my Etsy shop and then do some master's homework. And it's just only Monday. So we're off to a great start. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday. I wanted to make this a week on reading vlog, but this book is taking me forever to read. Not that it's bad, the beginning's just slow. I'm reading When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole and I'm only 150 pages in and I've been reading it since Sunday. The first 100 pages feel like a contemporary, like a uh, literary fiction-y, I guess, because it's just setting up the neighborhood and Sydney and Theo, I think is his name. It's fine, but like it took 100 pages for something like creepy to happen and now things like are happening that can't really be explained but it took a long time to get there and still i'm not like terrified or anything so i'm a really easy scaredy cat so we'll see it's just i think like someone's trying to force them out of their neighborhood in order to like knock them down and build what they want and like make it more of a white neighborhood gentrification so it's fine so far theo's girlfriend's nasty his fiance and Sydney's just dealing with something with her mom, but we don't know what it is. So I'm really excited because Zoe from Zoe All Booked, I think is her book, her channel name now. She changed it over the summer. She just posted a reading vlog of this. So I want to finish this so I can watch Zoe's reading vlog because apparently she loved it, I think, according to the, the title. And I think on Twitter she said she liked it. I don't remember, but... Once I get this done, I'm going to go watch hers. But I'm probably only going to update you one more time in this vlog of when I finish this so that I can post this because I've been, this vlog has been like two weeks in the making. Here we are. It's just going to be a random reading vlog. Sorry, but I'm going to finish this and talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm here with Miss Lily. She's behind me. I just got home from work and it's Thursday and I finished this whole book yesterday. I think I read like 200 pages, but yesterday I didn't work out. I didn't have anything to do except for watch Beverly Hills at eight o'clock. So I read the rest of this book and it just didn't work for me, unfortunately. I'm giving it three stars. I really loved the whole premise of the book and how realistic it was and how like gentrification actually happens and like this happens to black neighborhoods and I enjoyed that but as a thriller and being described as gripping thriller that rear window meets get out this was not gripping the pacing I wasn't a fan of it was very slow in the beginning like I said it really felt just like a contemporary novel in the beginning with like a little bit of weird things happening here and there and then I feel like when we got to the end it wrapped up so fast I want to say it was like 20 pages it was like okay boom 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 okay we're done and the villain was obvious in my opinion like I knew what this person was doing the whole time and I knew that they were the villain and I knew that that was going to be the, the twist there wasn't really even a big twist in my opinion it just nothing shocked me which is when I end up rating thrillers lower is when it's not surprising or thrilling or gripping and nothing really about this like thrilled me or gripped me it was just like okay like we're just going along and it got very like bloody at the end i'm gonna talk a little bit spoilery so i'll put spoilers here but like they started killing a lot of it just like changed stories like someone's review kind of said it felt very dystopian sci-fi by the end which i definitely agree it turned into and i just didn't think that it meshed well with the rest of the book so i'm giving this the three stars i didn't hate it but as a thriller i really didn't love it it wasn't really that thrilling and the pacing was odd to me so there was also this romance, and I don't know if I really enjoyed the romance in here. Um, I don't really see the connection between Theo and Sydney really that well, other than that Theo liked to watch Sydney in her window when he was working from home. And even, like, Theo's background, like, his secrets weren't that surprising, but they weren't that, like, thrilling either. I was like, okay, so you just did that. I wish there was just more exciting, thrilling, gripping stuff to happen in here. So three out of five stars. Sadly, I did not love it as much as I wanted to, but a lot of other people are loving it. Like I said, the premise is really cool, but like with the pacing and the ending, I just wasn't that big of a fan. And that is my end to this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've read any of these and if you tried Summerween and uh, didn't fail like I did. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.